Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. In QuickBooks, you can enter checks directly into the QuickBooks Write Checks window. When you enter a check into this form, you can see the address information and easily allocate the check's total amount between multiple expense accounts if needed at the bottom of the Write Checks window. This form also corresponds to the check entries made in the register for the selected checking account. To write checks in QuickBooks, you can select Banking from the menu bar and choose the Write Checks command. That will display the Write Checks window. Start by selecting the checking account from which the funds will be withdrawn from the bank account drop-down at the top of the screen. Next, decide whether you will be printing this check, at which point you would assign it a check number, or whether you're simply recording a check or other electronic withdrawal transaction. If you're simply recording a check that you've already written, or recording an electronic withdrawal, then simply enter the check number that was issued into the number field. You can enter your own code for checking withdrawal transactions that lack a code, such as an ATM withdrawal, if desired. Now otherwise, if you intend to print this check at a later point in time, then ensure that the To Be Printed checkbox that is located between the upper and lower portions of this window is checked. If you uncheck it, that's when you can enter in a check number manually, or enter in an ATM withdrawal transaction code. You would then make sure that you have the correct date, of the check entered by using the date calendar selector, and then select the name of the person to pay from the pay to the order of drop-down. If there are someone that you select from one of your lists, such as your vendor or customer list, then their name and address information will be displayed on the check. You can then enter the amount of the check into the dollar field. Once you've completed the upper portion of the Write Checks window, you then assign the amount of the check to one or more of the accounts in your company's chart of accounts by using the Expenses tab in the lower section of the Write Checks window. So to do this, just select the account to which you want to attribute the amount spent from the Account column. QuickBooks will attribute the entire amount to that account shown in the Amount column. Now if you need to split the total amount of the check to multiple accounts, then simply change the amount shown in the amount column to indicate how much of the total amount of the check to attribute to this selected account. You then repeat the process of selecting the next account from the next available blank line under the account column, and then entering the amount to attribute to that account from the adjacent amount column. Now once you've distributed the total amount of the check to all of the correct accounts, Click either the Save and Close button at the bottom of the form to save the check and close the Write Checks window, or you can click the Save and New button to save the check, and then leave the Write Checks window open so that you can continue creating more checks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com free.